Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine. And the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. That's a good on the way here pretty promptly. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Leonardo Bonucci. He's as imposing as they come, Peter. And he knows just how to use his, his physical attributes to make life difficult for attackers. He's also got a very good eye for a killer long ball, so don't be surprised if you see him launch a few counter-attacks for his team today. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. And it's Adair. Adair plays it out to the flank. That's a look and play. Gets up to head it! Goal! Barcelona! Barcelona are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best and they back it up with goals. Barcelona break the deadlock. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Goyos. Townsend. Barcelona are seeing a lot of the ball and have a 1-0 lead to show for it. Now the cross. Goyos finds himself offside. Jorza does have an assist to his name. Barcelona are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. Rice. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Rice. Hetic. Rice. And that'll be the final action of the first half. And here we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. And that has only been that one goal. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front end for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Barcelona leading 1-0 at the break. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Barcelona going well here, and they're in a good position. Goyos! And he's straight offside.
Alexandro. Forward it goes. Danilo. Bonucci. Pjanic. Berdeski. Rice with a good steal, well played. Vasil. Barcelona are ahead here by what is still the only goal. And it's eight air. Petic. Jim, what are you thinking? Well, this lead is beginning to look a little delicate. I'd rather see them show the ambition and adventure to go further ahead. But it seems as if they settle for a, a riskier approach now to defend this. Cristiano... It's Cristiano Ronaldo! An absolute thunderbolt! A finish on true class! Was crisp and clean. That was just a rocket. Yeah, I just thought he made great use of his upper body there. He would have taken something really special to keep that up. Juventus can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Iguain sees a free kick for that. Giorza. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Douglas Costa. Decent looking ball. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Giorza. Iguain. Douglas Costa has got himself a free kick. Douglas Costa has a pop! Goal! Juventus! And the game is well and truly turned on its head! But there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with. And to find it, I think, it was a fine drive. And I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. He's a bit unlucky in that instance. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Well, I think he can write this lot off in the barrel. It's been a joy to watch them haul themselves right back into it. Now, can they hang on? And it's Townsend. Hetic. Townsend. Douglas Costa, and here's Christian. Oh, shooting chance! Sticks it away! And this is getting better and better. In a 
finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't need them. They paid the price and deserved it. Juventus could not have done. And time is up. Barcelona are stunned. They controlled it, they led, and somehow.